Welcome back to another episode of Nintendo Gamers Around. Welcome, welcome, and chaos, everyone. We're back at it again, playing niche, niche, however it is you want to pronounce it. I'm Eric Barina. Barina. Uh, so yeah, that's that's not really good. Okay, Belle's gonna collect collect some food. She killed off a, a, a bunny. Savannah on her very last day is gonna collect some berries and collect some collect some grasses. She killed off that bunny, but she cannot take it. So you know, Duke is gonna gonna get it, and then Duke also chased after the bunny, and it looks like the bunny is Savannah's little friend. <laughs> Duke just jumped into the nest and then chased the bunny. The bunny happened to be to run right into Savannah's tile, and now it looks like Savannah has a little rabbit friend. <laughs> so yeah, that's an interesting transition. But anyway, so oh, there's a Barina over by the older tribe. Ah, go figure. Well, the older tribe just so happens to have strength, so the older tribe can. Can take down the Barina in two swipes and have some extra meat on on their hands. And they don't have. Looks like that Barina was not a mother, because I checked. She did not have a baby after her. So okay, that that that's all right. Elkheim's gonna collect some grasses. Taku is gonna gonna collect some berry bushes. Elta could have collected some berry bushes, but um, that is out of berries. So Elta decided, you know what? I'm gonna take a grass. I'm gonna settle into the nest, even though if I'm not having a baby. And she decides to to crack open that acorn shell thanks to her uh, nimble fingers, such as something that I would also would need in the swamp islands. And then Caduce's going to come over and dig up some roots and take some grasses. Tanata's going to come over here, take some grasses, reveal an acorn. Tanata was the one who took out the Barina and collected extra Barina meat. Isolens collecting some grasses. I'm just really, really fast about, about storytelling. In this game in particular, because I've gone through this island so many times, I just want to rush through everything. Because basically, I, I basically want to island hop from the beginning to where I keep dying all the time, which is either the, the big jungle or the savannah or or something. Maybe even the the whale island keeps killing me. But anyways, uh. So, okay, so Barry ran up over to the others to join the migrating crew. Seesaw has a poor little leech on her, so she's gonna get um, out of the water, and Walnut Sharky's gonna take the leech off of, off of her. But then his beam's gonna come on up and go join Pete and walnuts walnut sharky and we're gonna set up their mutations okay so i definitely see the low fertility or normal fertility and i definitely see that hemophobia so we're gonna try to weed those out of his memes traits i can put in the high fertility in there finally and then pete what traits do you got you are healthy all right and I had to think about, I had to think about the, the other island, the, the, I had to think about the, the swamp island. Why can't I think today? <laughs> Sorry, the brain's not working. <laughs> See, I want to get rid of the obvious of the no pattern trait, so I'm going to put in... Duh. Now we're going to the swamp. We're going to the swamp, so I'm going to put in medium pattern in one of his traits. What bodies types do you guys got? Big body, medium body, water body, heat body, water body, big body. Okay, so neither of those bodies are very helpful, so you're going to have the toxic body. Because that's going to be helpful in the swamp. 
There's lots of toxic berry bushes there. So, Pete, if you will do the honors, this means is going to make her nest. And then it'll be Walnut Sharky's turn. Let's see. You have the platypus beak, which would also be very helpful. You also have ram horns. Oh, and you got one normal fertility trait. So I'm going to put in one high fertility. And what's your strength? You don't have a strength. What's your strength? You got the two in strength, and you, you got a one in strength. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to do platypus speak. Because... Why not? Oh, you got the you got the purse now. Cracker jaw, cracker jaw, platypus beak. Okay. Okay, so Pete's gonna collect some berries. Tavon's gonna come on here and clear out some grasses. So is Connor. Uh, Sim, Sim, Simmy's gonna do the same, and actually, Simmy, Golf and Alpha, Alpha and Kilo, you're not exactly compatible. Charlie and Kilo, Golf and Alpha, you two are compatible. Golf and Alpha, Alpha and Kilo, you're not exactly compatible. But you know what? I'm gonna have you two breed, anyways. And then I'm gonna have you two breed, because you two are compatible. Because why not? I don't, I, don't, I don't need to pass along genes anyways. So it's like it's the next generation that needs to go on to the Swamp Islands. Because that's what I'm thinking. That's, that's how the game is played, really. Okay, so I have to go to these couples. Or this couple, this brother and sister couple, for a second, real fast. Okay, you're gonna make your nest, and then you're gonna clear out the... The area, so is Water King. I should have put Nibble Fingers in one of their, um, one of their mutation traits. So I was trying to amp up their, their strength. Because they're, they're kind of weak. They need it when they go to the swamp, so that's why I was doing that. Uh, okay, then more, more mutation, or not mutation, uh, migrating trait. The tribe migrating group. I can't speak today. What's wrong with me? I mean, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm kidding. Uh, Duke Dunn. You're getting kind of old, so you're, you're just gonna stay behind and collect food for everybody under under the water, uh, or under the seabed water. And then uh, Caroline, you're gonna wait by your half brother Vankier. I think that's his name. And then Rizzy. Rezzy, you're gonna go ahead and go. You're gonna collect some last minute food as you go, and then you're gonna go ahead and cross that river. You're gonna cross the stream. Berry's already hyped up to go. Okay, so we're gonna to go to see Tiger because I am anxious to see her baby, and we're gonna watch her give birth. And see what baby she has. Oh, it was strength in six. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at her. Oh, she has the melanism trait. That is awesome. Oh, that makes her beautiful. Okay, so she has the water body. That has the web, one web paw, which I was kind of anticipating anyways, because, I mean, they have four web paws, so they're going to have to pass along at least one web paw. I was anticipating that. And then they did manage to pull out at least one... Bit of unicorn from their mutation tree. That's kind of funny. Um, and then double uh, Barina hind legs, so that's amped up on their strength. Um, so that's 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 six. And you're an alpha. That's that's awesome. Because you got the home island mutate gene. That is exactly what I was looking for. Okay. And then you got you got the Barina snouts. Which is another point in defense, in strength. So that that's a six in strength. You did not pass along your horns. But that's alright. You're very healthy. You got high fertility for days. You got normal blood clotting. You're not blind. You, you look healthy. Alright. 
I was really trying to see if they can get their um, spiky body pull out. Maybe I'll have them breed one more time to see if they if they can do if they can pull that out of their inactive traits. But if they can't pull it out of their inactive traits, I'm not too worried about it because they are getting old. So yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so the child child from here. Oh. Oh, I hear a redhead. You don't look like fire. <laughs> I'm gonna call you that. <laughs> you, your, your mane looks like flames. It looks like little flames. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're not an alpha, which is what I was looking for. But I can have you to breed again. But it's Walnut Sharky's turn. To breed with Ismeme. So I'm gonna have Ismeme and Walnut Sharky breed. If they get an alpha, they get an alpha. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Oh, and I was gonna get Seesaw and Tavon together, weren't I? Alright. Uh, Tavon's chasing, chasing some, some, uh, little groundhogs. And then Seesaw, let's take a look at the, how, uh, you know, the healthy traits that. Those big ears are going to slow them down uh, when they get to the swamp because, I mean, the swamp is kind of, kind of hot, I guess. Uh, deformed pile. Uh, that's the only thing that I'm seeing that's bad, so I can put in the nimble fingers because I know they're definitely going to need the nimble fingers. Water body, big body, Medium body, heat body. Okay, so the heat body is definitely not going to be helpful. So I'm going to put in toxic body in your mutation. And I'm going to also put in some ram horns because I see those ram horns. So wait a minute, you have low fertility. I'm going to put in high fertility in your in your other mutation trait. Is that it? I, I didn't even notice. Normal blood clotting, high fertility. Okay, so you already... Did I do that to you? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. So... No, that's Izumim. Why am I clicking on Izumim? Cecil. Um. See, so yeah, I did def I did I did the deformed paw. I did uh. I did the. Freaking nimble fingers. I can't speak today. <laughs> and I gotta amp up their strength. I gotta amp up their strength. Um. Uh, how how else are they gonna get food? Let's do platypus beak, platypus beak, nimble fingers, toxic body, and high fertility. That's that's my main concern right now. So okay, so Tavon, got to make sure that you're breeding the right person. Okay, so your Tavon's gonna breed with Cecil. Cecil's gonna make her nest nest on the next turn, but she's not gonna have her baby for the next two days. But that's all right because she has a long longer lifespan. Pete's gonna. Collect food for fire. And a walnut sharky. Walnut sharky's just gonna sit by Ismeem. Ismeem's gonna go digging for those roots. Cause she she smelled those smelled those roots. Connor's gonna be right by S Simmy. Let's take a look. Oh, their defense is really good. We could make them even more powerful by putting in some horns. So I'm gonna put in some horns, and actually I want to put in the Barina Stout, because that's that's gonna be a terrifying looking beast. And then Connor, oh you got the antennas, you got short sight and nice sight, and normal fertility. So I'm gonna amp up your eyesight by having the eyes. And then I'm gonna have high fertility. And then I'm gonna have you breed. This is important. Simi, you're gonna make your nest. You're gonna take some take some grasses with you. Adam the third probably should think about breeding. Adam the third and Rezzy, are you compatible? Golf and Kilo, Alpha and Kilo. Not exactly compatible. But I'm gonna have you you two breed anyways, just because. 
It's important to breed. It keeps the tribe alive. You kind of have to. And, you know. Okay, so I see that normal fertility. I'm going to amp it up by putting in high fertility. We don't really need that one paw anymore. So we can put in the nimble, nimble fingers. And then you... You got nor normal fertility, so you can you can use high fertility, and then I want to amp up your strength up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the horns. And then you two are gonna breed. Resi's gonna make her nest. Duke Don, you're just gonna collect. Food for everybody. Fan here, you're gonna go by the shore, but then you're gonna wait, as I've learned from the last time I did that. Caroline, you're gonna wait right behind, right behind uh, Van here. Barry, cool Barry, you're gonna toddle your way right, right by Caroline and. Bank here aside, and look at what we got here. We got a wanderer. How old are you? Oh, you are kind of getting old. Let's see here. Golf and Charlie. Golf and Echo. What traits do you got? I, uh, do I really need your traits? You got the scorpion tail. But I can unlock that. You, your fertility is awful. Lurvanu, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not going to breed with you, but you can come on in since you walked right on up. Um, so yeah, you you can you can join our tribe, but um, they're not we're not going to breed with you. I mean, you're getting older anyway, so like there's no really there's not really a point. Lurvanon Lurvanu is going to Collect some berries. Elta is gonna take some acorns. Kaduk, Kaduk can go over here and dig because I saw that there is a roots over here. Elkheim, you're gonna collect some grasses in Kaduk's uh, place, and he's gonna stand on right onto like the roots. Or like the hole of the roots that he dig dug out of because he's he's not feeling too too good so he's he's just gonna pass right right on that 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 hole. Uh, Taduk thought there was uh, bushes like berries on this bush so he came over to the berries and found that they were clean and swiped so or, or swiped clean so lover look. Lavernon, Lavernu. La this is why I can't pronounce the names. <laughs> uh, go on down to one tile and collect some grasses, and then Bell, Bell with Duke. Duke's gonna take some, take some rabbits, kill some rabbits. Bell's gonna kill some rabbits because the rabbits took all of the berries. And Belle's gonna also collect some grasses. She figured that the rest of the tree tribe could use them, but there was it wasn't a uh, nest material wise. So she's just clearing clearing out grasses, making the island look nice. What do we got here? Ah, Duke, Don, Don, Duke. I kind of like that name. You get to keep that name. You are an alpha. You don't have the spiky body. But you also have that same mental mentalism that I think your brother has. That's, that's cool. Your sister. Ah! Uh, you are an alpha as well. Whoops. Okay. I don't call you Isabel. I probably had an Isabel. I'm gonna call you Isabel. That's not how you spell Isabel. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Isabel. 
And then I'm going to keep Don Don Duke as for his name. Because, I mean, I, I kind of like that name. Oh, and Lisa Bell took one step out of her nest and s accidentally scared off scared off a, a mole creature. So, yeah, they didn't pass along the, um, the spiky body trait. But I'm not too worried about it because both brother and sister look adorable. Uh, so... Water King and Sea Tiger, they just cleared out some grasses to make the island look nice and neat. And then Fire's gonna come on out of his nest. Sea Soul's gonna make her nest and clear out some grasses. Uh, Tavon's gonna collect some berry bushes for the, the baby that Sea Soul has, because Sea Soul can't collect berries. Uh, Walnut Sharky, actually, hold on, are you, you are an alpha, okay, so, that's an interesting creature, uh, Walnut Sharky's gonna go clear out some grasses, he's gonna attempt to attack the, the ground mole, but he didn't, he wasn't able to, to hit him, Ismene's gonna go into, um, her nest, and as she does, the gr- the whole mog or ground hole, groundhog, excuse me, that runs into his, his den. Ismene's going to breed with Pete. Pete can't take berry bushes because um, Tavon took all the rest. So Pete, 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 Pete is just going to stay by fireside. This is not really anything else that he can do. Connor is going to just go over to the bushes and he found some or he, he goes over to the tall grasses he finds a bush so he collects the berries from the bush and then he, he takes he, he collects some grasses to make it look make the island look nice and nice nice and neat Simi's gonna get out of her nest destroy the nest and clear some grasses off of her eyes her side and I forgot that you two can't have a alpha, because you two aren't alpha breeding pairs. You two can't have alphas either, but that's alright. Um, you two can't have alphas either, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, okay. Adam the third is going to run on over. He sees that there's, there's no... There's no berry berries left on the on either bushes, so he destroys the berries or the bushes. Rezzy's gonna collect some some food under under the water, destroy her nest, and she's gonna make some room or take up some space rather. Bank here is gonna swim on over. Cause he's old enough now, and so is so is Caroline. Caroline's gonna attempt to, although she can go by the the shallow part of the water, but she can't necessarily cr swim across just yet, just cause she's she doesn't have the gills and she doesn't want to drown. So Duke John's gonna take a walk on the beach, and Barry's gonna wait his turn. Though he's he's gonna swim on over. Okay, so he's still on the shallow water, so he's good. Tananta sees that there's a berry bush uh, right by Duke Don, so he's going to destroy that berry bush, and he's also going to collect some grasses. Clear some grasses. This will end also. Tananta's going to clear some grasses, and then the island's pretty much... Cleared on grasses, so Elta's gonna gonna go collect some acorns. Taku's gonna collect some berries since they finally grew grew back onto the bush. Uh, Luravanu is gonna collect some berries. And then he's just he's just gonna wait right by that acorn acorn tree because he realizes there's no more grasses for him to pick. And then Nelkon's just gonna destroy that berry bush just because she, she realizes that she can and comes over to discover that her friend has passed, passed away. 
Duke is gonna collect the the bit the berry or the, the berry the, the bunnies. He's gonna go right behind the stagamol, tries to attack it. That's what they're called, not groundhogs. I call them groundhogs, but they're they're not. So Bell's Bell's gonna go clear out some grasses. Stagamol uh, hid in his hidey hole. Everyone uses hidey hole. Don't copy strike me. I'm gonna pass the day. The rain comes. They're no longer in a drought, so Belle is gonna go right behind that, that acorn tree and she's gonna collect as many berries as she can. Duke's gonna collect as many berries as, as he can on his last final two days. To so Duke's, or Ta Taku's gonna collect some berries. Elkheim is gonna run over and destroy that berry bush. And then Lord Vlandu is kind of upset that his uh, berry bush was destroyed, but he's gonna knock over some acorns so a Elton can collect some. Duke Don is gonna collect more food under under the water. Isvalan, there's no more no more grasses to clear and collect so Tanata is gonna kill off a stack of all so they can have more more food more food for the feast and then Tanata is gonna go over to to a bush and destroy it someone gets a leech Caroline swims over and somehow makes it Barry makes it Barry collects food from under under the water under under the seabed. I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. I'm gonna call you Doofus. I'm gonna call you Doofus because your your face looks like a doofus. <laughs> Still a cute little guy. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make fun of him. I'm just. I, I'm just. I, I'm laughing. But at the same time, like I feel bad for for that guy. Like I'm calling him doofus because Mila. Mila. That's a that's a cute name. Mila takes her first steps. Simi is like clearing out some grasses. So is Connor. But Connor's gonna stay right by um, Mila. Vancure, Vancure doesn't have any time for this, so he's just gonna run on by. What about you? Are you in, are you an alpha? You're not an alpha. Oh, you're gorgeous. You're majestic. Oh. You're, you look just like your brother, but, um, with the peacock tail. Oh, man. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a name similar to your brother's. <laughs> There's a reason why I call him Firebird. <laughs> it's because of, because of his tail. It's because of his majestic tail. Here, Fire, Fire's gonna run on over. Join the rest of the tribe members that's over there. Mean la mean la mean la mean la mean That's not what I'm trying to spell. <laughs>
I'm trying to think of it inside my head. Me <laughs> Okay, close enough. After after I get finished with this thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna say my outro and then I'll record again. Mina. Okay, fine. Close enough. Mina's gonna get get out of her nest or you know, climb out of her nest. She's she's an alpha too, cause the whole line of beauty gene. Uh, your daughter of walnut sharky, okay? Mina is, uh, Nervon, 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 um, I got a better name for you. Don't copyright strike me. Please! Most of these names are not anybody's names. They're just very first names that come to my mouth. That come to my mind. Seesaw's gonna destroy some nests. And, you know, jump, you know, walk, get out of her tile. Tavon's gonna stay right by uh, Spidey side. Adam the third is gonna try to run. Run on by. Oh, he's getting old, so he's... He's gonna run out to the shore, realize that he's getting too old for adventures, and then he's gonna try to clear out the island. Just like everybody else. Like, while the shark, he's clearing out the island. You know, it's probably too, 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 a little too early for him to do that, because he has 15 days left on his lifespan. Devon's gonna kind of do that when, um... Spiny is old enough to take care of himself, and... So is Connor and Semi. Pete is already clearing out grasses on the island. Though, yeah, Ismeme wanted to try to get an alpha with his, with... Well, Ismeme already had, um, Ismeme's getting old, and, uh, she already had Meanie. And Meanie is an alpha, so I'm not going to be too worried about it. So this means just going to destroy her nest. She knows she's probably not going to get another child from here on out. So she just moves on out of the nest and then destroys the nest without hurting uh, Firebird. And then... Oh, I forgot about this, this tribe. I forgot about this group. So Wonder King sees that there's a bunny that just came out to his side, so he decides to destroy it, because why not? Duke Don Duke, Don Don Duke gets out of his nest. Sea Tiger destroys her nest, and she pushes Belle into the grasses, and she comes right next door and just clears out the grasses. And shows Isabel how to clear out grasses on the island to try to keep the area nice and neat so as no barrenas come sneaking out from the from the darkness. Alright, so thank you all for watching today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Unleash the beast and over and out.